need a job, not a government plan. All I want to do is work with my two hands. Gonna fire up the truck, head up to D.C. Turn on my SOBs, I need a J-O-B. We're here at syndicatednews.net at TELUS with Ruthie from the East Coast. And Kyle from the West Coast. And today we're spending a little time with Richard Gilmore. Richard, you there? Yes, I am, Ruthie. You're running for office. I'm running for Congress. That's District 8 here in Florida. Excellent. We were wondering, every few years, the issue of term limits comes up. What are your views on term limits in Washington? Term limits, Ruthie, work very well here in Florida, but I think actually to institute them in Washington, we would need a constitutional amendment, which I don't think is going to happen. I'm for term limits, and I've signed a pledge that I'll only serve for two term limits once elected. And I think that's how we get term limits, is by electing only those representatives that guarantee that they're only going there for a short period of time. Now, with the national debt reaching $16 trillion, the talk of balancing the budget seems to be juxtaposed with both the president's budget and Paul Ryan's Republican budget proposing to spend $1 trillion more next year than we take in. What would you propose to balance the budget? Well, Ruthie, that $16 trillion really means that every man, woman, and child in America now owes the government about $50,000 in debt. So uh, that's a real problem. And I would move our government spending back to 2004 levels. In 2004, remember, we were fighting a war on two fronts. So we weren't spending a little bit of money. The country was spending a lot of money. I believe we can move back to 2004 levels, spending $2.4 trillion. That's about what we're bringing in. So that'll balance the budget. That's what I would hope to do is to cut the bureaucracy and cut the spending and get us back on a path to uh, fiscal responsibility. Why should voters give you an independent a seat in Congress? Well, that's that's a great question, uh, Ruthie. Both parties, really, when you look at it, when our country was formed, this position, a representative in Congress or a senator in Congress, was not meant to be a full-time position. It was not meant to be a career. And they had to ride on horseback to Philadelphia or Washington. So what we've actually morphed into is what I call a duopoly. We tried to get away from the monarch telling us what to do. We fought a war of independence for that. So instead of a monopoly, as far as power goes, we've gone into a duopoly. Both parties basically give us the same thing once they're in power. An independent, I think, will have an independent voice up in Washington. And if we had a few more independents in Washington, I think we could moderate the excesses of either party. So if it's the party that put you there or if it's the political action committees that put you there, I think the allegiance is looked at as, well, they owe allegiance to the party or the political action committee. With me, I've taken no money at all from a political action committee. So you really have a candidate with no strings attached. And mine is truly a grassroots campaign. And I think that's what people are looking for. Now, I notice everyone complains about jobs, jobs, and jobs. Now, all the politicians talk about getting jobs, but they do very little. What would your strategy be to bringing jobs to the Space Coast? We need good jobs. And actually, I have drafted a national energy policy that is now on Marco Rubio's desk in Washington. Part of that national energy policy establishes the National Energy Research and Development Center right here in Cape Kennedy. And the most important resource, Ruthie, will be the thousands of unemployed engineers and scientists we can put back to work on this project. The mission would be to get us off of foreign oil and find clean, renewable fuel sources for our future. This one project will put thousands of people back to work. That's my program, and I I think I'm the only candidate so far that has put forth a program to get us jobs right here, right now. 
I'm Richard Gilmore, and I'm running for Congress in the 8th District here in Florida, and I'm on syndicatednews.net. I need a job, not a government plan. I Work with my two hands, gonna fire up the truck. Hey.